I finished work, but I'm off tomorrow, so I decided to come down to the lake, and I'll sleep here tonight, and I'll fish all day tomorrow. I'm getting all excited. Ah, this is the life. I'm going to drink, eat, and be merry. <laughs> This is what life is all about, at one with nature. Did you ever get that feeling of deja vu? Stop the music, stop the music, stop the music. I've used this piece of music before and I don't repeat my music, so we'll play a different piece. That's much better. Nothing to it. I'll get all my gear in the boat as quick as I can. And I'll head off up to the beach. I'm knackered. Knackered. <laughs> I'm knackered after that. Really? That was close. I thought I would never get the boat into the lake. <laughs> it's very shallow. I'm going to have to row my way to the beach. I keep meaning to put Vaseline on these oars. I'm not going to get the boat in any closer. Where am I going to tie my boat? You might think, is there any need to tie up the boat? It's not going to drift off. But I know these lakes. And during the night, they can rise a couple of feet with heavy rain. That's perfect. That'll do the trick. That'll secure my boat there in the morning. That it won't drift off.
I must have a pint of Guinness for strength. That's a thing of beauty. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my God. Oh, I needed that. I really needed that. I think I might as well throw up my tent and I'm starving. I might make a bit of grub and fill the belly. I bought new batteries for my pump-up bed and the price of them, you'd think you were buying shares in Duracell. 10 euros for four batteries. I'm in the wrong business. I'm in the wrong business. The moment of truth. Yay! my pillow for the night. I'm sleeping in style tonight. Style. <laughs> Five star. Five star. <sighs> Five star. <laughs> Five star. <sighs> I'll be sleeping in five star tonight. That first paint was beautiful. I had to have a second one. After putting on my tent, I went out in the boat and had a couple of casts and I hooked into a beautiful trout, massive trout, and I fought the fish. And I landed the fish and I realized the camera wasn't recording. I, I have no footage of the fish. And I came in and I got at him to have him for my team and I've cut him into lovely strips. You're not going to believe it. And I put some breadcrumbs on him and I'm frying him. What a beautiful fish. You're not going to believe the story, but it's true. I bought this slice pan. Ballymore crust. They were out of Pat the Baker. 85 cent. You wouldn't go hungry. We'll see now what does it taste like. gold butter wedding carry you have to have the carry gold pepper is so beautiful wild mountain trout <sighs> wild mountain trout 
or is it? My wife bought me this beautiful bottle. Dull man, honey moonshine, a blend of Irish poutine and real honey. We're living in a mad world. Poutine is illegal. For anyone who doesn't know, poutine is illegal. It's an illegal drink made from potatoes. And now they're serving it. Poutine. I don't know what it costs, but I'm looking forward to test this. It might be good for me, <laughs> for my chest. <laughs> so I'm never great at opening these things. We'll have a go off it. get a knife. Hang on, hang on. I think we have success for once. Whoops, it is. <sighs> Don't leave even that on the beach. So, I have no glass. My glass is broken. So, one of my subscribers, a fella called Mac, bought me this cup a long time ago. And he left it in my tire, my cooker up in Darienna in Waterville a long time ago. Mac, I still have your cup. Thanks, Mac. And I'm going to put a bit of this poutine into the cup because my wife will kill me if I drink out of the bottle. Eddie Kit Vincent, I can hear her say. Oh, that's lovely. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Cheers. Oh. Honey moonshine. 38%, that's all. They need to take the honey out. I'm going to finish this paint. And I'm going to call it a night. It's bright. And I should be fishing now, but I'm knackered. I'm knackered and I'm going to bed. And I'm happy. <laughs> And I had a grand feed of a beautiful wild mountain trout. <laughs> Cheers. <sighs> and tomorrow is another day.
beautiful piece of music called Dusty El Alma, if I'm pronouncing it correct. And that's the bit of music that was playing when I was trying to get the boat into the lake. The water was so shallow. <sighs> I thought I'd never get the boat into the lake, honestly. And the day will come, one day it will come, that I won't be able to get the boat into the lake. That day will come one day. I remember my father when he was alive. He was a genius, genuinely a genius. And he was a genius whistler. And he used to collect the assurance at people's doors. He'd go around, he had a route. And I used to go around as a little boy, five, six, seven, at the very most, I was seven. And he'd knock at the door, and the door would open, and the little old lady would come in, Hello, Mr. Bambi, please come in, Mr. Bambi. And my dad would go in, and I'd follow him. And he'd go into the living room. And then he'd tell 15, 20 of all the old ladies drinking tea and having a little biscuit. Mr. Donnelly's here, and they'd be all delayed. Please, Mr. Donnelly, will you whistle something? La Traviata. And my father would whistle. And I was looking at him in awe. And all the old ladies would be listening to him. And the glasses and the cups and the spoons on the table would be jingling with the, with the, with the sound of the whistling. And they'd all clap and cheer him. And that would happen maybe once or twice each day at different houses. And then one day my father, I'll never forget it, one day my father just turned and said, Look, Vincent, look. <laughs> look, I can't whistle anymore, he said. He wasn't well, and a gap came between his two front teeth, his teeth moved. And he said, Look, Vincent, I can't whistle anymore. And I'll never forget it. He just said, Vincent, the Lord give it, and the Lord take it away. That's what he said. So life is short, and you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or next week. So when you're in good health, if you have it, and you can get out, get out and enjoy yourself when you can, because you don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. Life is short, so get out! <laughs> Catch a fish where you can. Good luck! Not a midgy outside, it's very cold for June. It's very cold. There's not a midgy outside. Put them all inside in my tent next to me here. In the heat. And they're driving me mad. Oh. oh, they're eating me alive. Eating me alive. Oh, it's hard to go to sleep when the midges are eating you. I need to get up and go to the boat and get my little uh, my tin of insect repellent. Too tired. <laughs> this is camping for you, camping.